Frank, you talked about that stretch where I think you guys were up five in the first half, and then all of a sudden it's, I think, 28-9. You seem to have fired up to get it done. I mean, it's a dunk. <laughs> you got to get fired up for that. You know, that's what you practice for every day. Um, just go out there and play hard. And I was just so happy because we came out with so much energy. And, you know, we got we got the fans more into it, you know. And Coach always tells us before the game, like, you know, the student section is going to cheer. But let's get these old people out there seats. Let's get them cheering. And, and we went out there, and, and it was it was just the energy. I couldn't contain it. I couldn't keep it in. <laughs> This is for all you guys. Uh, midway through the first, the first half, you guys are up by 19. The show starts chanting, show no mercy. Uh, talk about your guys' fast start. Um, we wanted to come out uh, aggressive, you know. Um, uh, we were missing Chase and missing Tim. Um, watching a film, we knew that we knew that uh, we would have the ability to run on this team. And, um, uh, and that's the most fun, fun, fun thing about basketball is, is getting out there and, and running and just having fun. So, you know, as a team, you know, we, we wanted to get that aggressive, aggressive started <laughs> and push the tempo as fast as we could, but under control, of course. But that was a key thing, just coming out aggressive and, and pushing the tempo as fast as we could. Why do you think tonight was so different than the start against TCU? <laughs> I don't know. It just happens. Uh, you know, we try to go out there and <clears throat> we try to go out there and come out with so much energy, you know. Um, just things happen, you know. Fortunately for us, they don't happen a lot, but uh, that, that's one thing that we've always tried to preach to each other. The coaches try to preach to us is just go out there, let's get off to a fast start. Because if we go out, you know, we put the pressure on people, especially here in this environment, a lot of people get down. A lot of people get down on themselves, they get down on each other, you know. And uh, we, we, we want to try to make people quit, you know. And so we just get out there and we just run. And um, we were able to do that today, and we had a lot of success doing it. Well, can you talk about your game? It seemed like you, obviously with uh, Chase being down, you you kind of moved up in the rotation a little bit. Uh, did you want to take advantage of that tonight? Uh, yes, I tried to take advantage of it, getting a lot of playing time, but I still can't fill the shoes that Chase did. Chase and did a lot for the program. You, you did a pretty good job filling the shoes tonight. <laughs> Thank you. I tried. <laughs> DJ, I mean, about the, I mean, obviously you guys talked about the lull on the TCU game coming at me. Was that the added motivation of, like, we're not going to let this happen two games in a row? Oh, uh, yeah, it was definitely in discussion. Um, we wasn't going to let that happen. Um, again, definitely not two games in a row. Um, you know, everybody's been talking about how we came out against TCU, coaches, fans, and, and the media. But, um, uh, so, so, I mean, we heard it, and, and we know we, there had to be something different. Uh, Utah, they're a very good team, and they like to run as well. So there, there's no way we can come out, you know, with low energy and and you know get a get a win like we did. DJ, is this a testament to your depth, given that how well you played in your first game after losing two important guys? Obviously, with the guys on both sides, you really uh, contributed. But is this a testament to what you guys can do, even with some guys being out? Uh, of course, it is. I mean, we had um, I think five guys in, in double figures tonight. Um, Jamal came in and, and, and played great for us. Um, you know, Mehdi came and played strong defense. Um, you know, even LB got out there and, and ran the one real well. It, it, it does show that, you know, this, this team uh, does have depth and that, you know, uh, Chase, we, we do miss Chase, we do miss t Tim. But, you know, we have, we have um, players on this team that can be playing, you know, anywhere across the nation. Oh yeah, of course there's, there's room to get better. Um, we had a letdown in the second half where you know they just kept scoring and scoring and scoring on the defensive end. Um, <coughs> um, we, ju we we just have to go in and, and watch film and, and and learn from it. I think that you know uh, there was a kind of comfort level when we got up by you know 20 30 points, but um, we we have to have the ability. To, to not let teams back in the game, and that's something we talked about at halftime, is not giving this 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 um, this team a chance to, to think that they could they can come back and win. The, the show was chanting curly fries or something like that. Yeah. What's that all about? Uh, you hold a team under 50, they get free curly fries. <laughs> so, wait, how hard were you guys trying to get that 50 point mark underneath that? Huh? How, how hard. hard were you trying to make them sure that they didn't get 50? Oh, and I remember um, timeout with seven minutes left, and I say they can't score seven points in seven minutes. You got to get them these fries. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because it's, it's been games where teams have had 53, and I go, <clears throat> I go home, and some of my boys call me, and they just, 
they just mad. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I told them, you know, we tried our best. <laughs> Do you get any of those No, we, I'm going to stay away from those during the season. <laughs> you guys are obviously, I mean, Saturday night, Saturday night, they're going back to the road. I mean, the, obviously, the UNLV let down. I mean, are you guys anxious to get on the road, another tough test? I'm anxious. I mean, you know, playing on the road is fun, but it's not as fun as playing at home. Um, they're they're having an up and down season, but I know you know they're gonna play well at home. Um, they're they're always a team that you know gives teams uh, trouble with their with their pressing defense, their aggressive defense, and um, it's gonna be a you know different transition going from Utah to to, to UNLV. But I mean, we're, we're we're I think we'll be ready. We'll be fine.